Do you know Hollywood is actually controlled by the Illuminati's? It's absolute satanic. Some guy comes from America or he is a rapper or he's a famous a celebrity. The whole world goes and they pay big money just to see and watch nonsense, evilness. Hollywood was established for one thing to brainwash humanity and take it away from God. Music, my beloved entertainment comes and enters through the back door of your imagination. This is in the book of Revelation. Music, when you listen to it, when you choose to listen to it, you have no control anymore. Please. It's a form of hypnosis. Did you know this? It's a form of hypnosis. Hypnosis affects the subconscious mind. Us humans have no control over the subconscious mind. We can only try to fix the rational conscious mind. The subconscious will control us. When you allow this kind of a rhythm, let me tell you about Hollywood. Even the drum beat, the beat is done sometimes in a particular way. It's a ritual thing. It's an evil, evil, evil thing. It's a hypnotic way to the rush to the subconscious mind of the human being. When that music enters through the door of imagination. Now listen, my beloveds, imagination is a beautiful gift from the good God. It's a good gift from the good God. All of us, we imagine through our imagination, we can go to heaven. We can go anywhere we want to go with imagination. There is no limit. God imagines since he created us in his image, whatever he is and has, he has placed in this human being. This imagination, when it gets tarnished, it will affect your subconscious mind. It will shape, mold and form your subconscious mind. And guess what? Before you know it, since you have no control over the subconscious mind, the moment it is shaped and affected, the subconscious mind will send it to the conscience, the rational mind. When it gets to your rational mind, you're gone. You're gone. But if the imagination is not pure, I will veer off and go to the dark side. Satan will take over. Satan will take over. So we need to purify this imagination. How do we do it? Only God can. I need to be clinging to the word of the Lord. 